You don't have to be a Jew to be successful in Israel. Join me to see how. What if I told you that the head of the biggest bank in Israel is an Arab Muslim from Taibi? Would you believe me? Meet Professor Samer Hajjihya, the chairman of the board of Bank Lomi, Israel's largest bank. Samer is a Muslim Arab and Israeli. And yes, his success pretty much shatters the anti-Semitic stereotype of the Jews controlling all the money. But in Israel, Arabs are successful in more than just banking. Let's go north. In Nahariya, Israel is the Galilee Medical Center, a major hospital run by Professor Misad Barhoum, one of the most senior and respected medical professionals in Israel. He's also, by the way, an Arab Israeli from Shfamir. Across Israel's 33 hospitals, you'll find Jews and Arabs working together. Oh, did you know, despite the fact that the Arab Israelis are 20% of the population, we are 30% of the doctors in Israel and 50% of the pharmacists. Surely the government institutions are different though, right? Not really. In the highest judicial institution in the state, the Supreme Court, you'll find the Honorable Justice Khalid Kaboub, an Arab Muslim Supreme Court Justice. By the way, he's not the first Arab Israeli judge on the Supreme Court. Before Kaboub were judges George Kara and Salim Jubran. Jubran was even one of the judges who sentenced both a Jewish prime minister and a Jewish president to prison when they broke the law. Just remember that next time when you hear the word apartheid about Israel. Israeli Arab women are making an impact as well. Julia Zahar from Nazareth is a successful businesswoman who heads the El Arz Tahina factory. Under her leadership, it has grown to an internationally successful business. In the IDF and security forces, thousands of Arabs also serving at the highest levels. Major El Awawiyye is the highest ranking Muslim woman to serve in the army. And when I was in the IDF, in the Golani Brigade, a combat unit, I, an Arab, was a commander over Jewish soldiers. And when it comes to sports, Arab Israeli athletes are at the top of their game, literally. Hala Mahli is the Israeli karate champion and an Arab Israeli. Hanin Nasser, the Israeli champion for high jump for two years in a row. Yep, you guessed it, Arab Israeli. In kickboxing, Arab Israelis are a powerhouse. In this year's World Championships, Luay Sakas and Munia Hano won the title. And yes, they're both coming from the Arab Israeli community. Oh, by the way, the captain of the Israeli national soccer team is Biblas Natcho, an Israeli Muslim. These are just a few of our community's success stories, but there are thousands more. Like in any country, challenges exist for minorities in society. But these examples are not anomalous. Yes, in the state of Israel, a Jewish and democratic state, not only Jews can be successful.